Welcome everyone to our Operational Services GIS portal and uh, today we're going to go over another application. It's actually a utilities download application and this one is actually located under infrastructure tab. So if you click on this one it will call on the ArcGIS server and uh, we have a depiction of our entire city. Now what you're going to see at first is an overview map and we actually have the whole city divided into 260 active subgrids. Each one of these are subgrids. And when you, as you zoom in, the subgrid numbers become more visible. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you a little more history of this utility download app. Uh, going back a little bit, there's always been a need uh, to see a more details on any part or any area of the city. So what this application does, it allows a user to go and call on any one of these grids and once it does that it's going to bring up a PDF generated uh, GIS version of our utilities and the infrastructure in that area. From there you can actually print or email a particular area and um, it's been very useful you can use it for a variety of uh, ways uh, sometimes these are used for uh, engineering uh, permits sometimes they're just used to give out a location map of our underground utilities and we'll discuss that a little more in detail now we'll go ahead and discuss how do we actually use this application Okay, we've gone over this uh, previous video uh, videos on, on some of these buttons up here, so I'm not going to start off with that. But the first way we use this is to actually just simply zooming in a particular area that you're inter we're interested in. So if we're interested in, say, this particular pod in Monarch's Lake, we can zoom in this area and we can go to this I Identity button, click on it and then click on for example 36A that will show a utility subgrid under results there will be a plus sign that you need to click on it to expand click on it one more time and then when you check it it will actually highlight that click it one more time it will bring down a PDF here you just have to open up the window when you click on this you will actually get a uh, PDF version that you can do many things with okay and uh, of course you know with PDFs you can zoom in and it will give you a number of different details now we'll come back to that in a moment of the different layers shown but I want to go over uh, another way that we can actually locate by the way you can zoom in and zoom out with the middle a scroll button if you have one or you can actually just use a uh, minus sign you can zoom out or you can hit this glow for the full extent so different ways uh, you can navigate um, the second way we're going to use uh, search subgrid um, there's an example in here already say we wanted to uh, look at uh, 30B click on 30B on the results it will display search subgrid you see 30b put a check mark and then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, zoom to it okay so this is 30b it is in the town center area now we expand the plus sign one more time gets a pdf click on it and the pdf is going to bring that area now what you can see here is a number of layers you see force mains, uh, drainage, uh, this blue water to make it easier on the top we actually have a legend okay so 
Uh, we'll look at some of these legends real quick. You see the force main is this dashed green line, gravity, sewer lateral, all the sewer uh, related features are uh, in depicted here. Okay, and down here you can actually see the, the manholes. You can actually see, um, you know, different things like directional flows, the way they're flown by the arrows. Uh, water mains are in blue, water valves, reuse mains, they're kind of like in purple. You can see this dash purple line here. Um, something to note too, let me zoom in a little bit more. Uh, the size diameter of the pipe is in the same color of the feature that you're looking at. So this is a reuse line with a 16 inch diameter. This is a blue water main with an 8 inch diameter. This is a, a 15 inch outfall diameter up with this uh, storm drainage and that's in brown so brown to brown blue to blue purple to purple uh, and so forth this force main here is a 30 inch force main diameter so you can actually use this in a number of ways and um, you can also just very easily uh, print this out Again, uh, the legends up here, the scale bars over here. Uh, this is uh, very well depicted on 11 by 17 paper. So if you want to go ahead and print it, uh, you can print it to any of the least uh, copy machines in the city. Um, pretty much anywhere you can print on 11 by 17 now. Uh, you click on properties up here. You can notice it, it's it falls to eight and a half by eleven, but click on properties. Uh, go ahead, select level by seventeen. Make sure you select landscape and you hit OK, and you'll see the eight and a half by eleven resize eleven by seventeen, and it's ready to print. Make sure your path is correct up here. Okay, I'm gonna hit cancel for now. Now you can also go ahead and email this. Uh, sometimes you may want to email this. Um, if you want to email this, you go ahead, click on email, and it'll bring up this 30B PDF. Say attach. Now it gives you a question: Do you want to send a link, or do you want to send a copy? Well, if you're going to email someone in the city, uh, you can actually send a link. Okay, with, with the hyperlink already um, embedded, and it will, you know they can go ahead and download it that way okay and it also saves some memory space the other way you can do it if you're gonna email it outside the city uh, you can go ahead and just actually send a copy so this time it's gonna pull up a email but it's gonna actually attach a PDF to it okay so those are different ways you can actually print and email this type of document now Another way we can go ahead, and uh, I'm going to close this out for right now, to locate uh, these subgrids. We go back here. We can actually do an address proximator. Okay, this address proximator will, if you know the general uh, address, um, you can pull up the closest subgrid in that area. So we're going to put in 13900. Okay, Pembroke Road, and hit find. Okay, now it goes ahead and finds it, and it puts it under the results tab on the first line. So, 13900 Pembroke Road, expand the plus sign, expand it one more time, and it puts a little pin right in the middle of the screen. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, zoom to it if we want to get a better look okay now what we're interested in is that subgrid with that contains that address so go back to the I identity click on that and then expand the plus sign you can check it expand the plus sign one more time and then you'll see a PDF click on the PDF and you will actually get that panel or that subgrid 41D on the right, uh, this is Trilogy. Uh, it shows a number of uh, utilities in this area. 
with the corresponding legend up on the top. Of course, on the uh, left hand side, this is the utilities uh, in the uh, sewer plant or the wastewater plant. You see all the uh, manholes, uh, the water mains, and even the storm drainage that goes into that complex and different various uh, force mains as well. So this is the utility uh, download application and uh, again you can email or print this so it's kind of a, a ready to go type of um, format format of print so it also has the individual house address okay and you can get a lot of details with these um, type of um, subgrids okay so that pretty much shows us the um, uh, different ways we can use this particular application and uh, in full extent just zoom out uh, you can also uh, use this navigation tool on the bottom or you can uh, actually zoom in or zoom out with this little device here as well okay so that wraps it up now for this utility download app and we have a number of quite a few different applications we use everybody has you know different needs so we try to accommodate um, a variety of departments and divisions in the city okay take care and God bless